Hey, what's up guys? Zach Calhoun here. Got something really important today. Very encouraging, hopefully. And I think you could use this literally right away, like tomorrow. <clears throat> um, Follow-ups. Let's just talk about following up with a lead and who to follow up with, how to follow up with them. What's a way to have some dang success, man? Because you don't want to not follow up at all. That's craziness. Um, why put in all the effort of finding the lead, attracting the lead, and then speaking to the lead, pitching the lead, demoing the lead, send over the proposal, and not following up, right? Following up is a huge deal. You probably heard the phrase, the fortune's in the follow-up. What about a lead that is ice cold, pretty much you don't know who they are at all, you don't want to even have a relationship in any way, but you've met them one time. What do you do? What's the next thing? What's the next item to you know engage them? I have a way for you. I have an example. I walked into a location um, and I had a flyer. Okay, the reason I bring the flyers, flyer. It's funny. It depends on what you're selling. It's it's like a, kind of a silly thing, right? It's like why do I need a flyer? Like it's so you know goofy. They should just know what it is. Just buy from me. Well, when someone's ice cold. And they're in a, and they're in a specific industry, or, or basically, you you want something that's physical that can kind of sit on their desk. Okay, um, if you're talking a really big fish, you may want to drop off like a little toy or something goofy, something that like that definitely gets you remembered. The goal is to be remembered. It's not to have the best flyer in the world. I have this goofy flyer I use, and it's. Not the most beautiful in the world. Actually, one time I've even sent it. I've dropped it off with a uh, with one letter that, that was a spelling error. Gosh, it was ab about speed. Okay, but anyways, I got it. I, I dropped off a flyer. I came. It's about five or six locations, and this lady's name was Michelle, um, and she was really nice. And she said that she's uh, got someone else that she is wants to look at look at the stuff that you know I was referring to and I was like okay no problem I'll, I'll follow through you have a card or anything and I got her card well you could tell when I spoke to her I verified when I first was there she's the person who makes those kind of decisions she actually told me because at the moment in time I was telling her I said oh, okay great well can I have that person's contact information or and she said well actually I'm the one who makes those kind of decisions so you can take my card here I said cool well, that's what I want to hear. I want to know who makes the choice. I don't give a dang who vets me. At the end of the day, I want to know who is the one that says yes, who signs the, the proposal and sends the money to me, okay? So once I knew it was her and she seen me in person and I was really short, to the point, kind, I quickly explained what, what we did and I quickly moved on and I got her card and I dropped off uh, my, my flyer. What happened then is that she moved about on her with, with her day. So did I. We both kind of forgot about it, right? Because you want to give that seed a couple days, give it some time to kind of percolate, kind of kind of grow a little bit. You don't want to just like try to close the sale the first day or call them back the next day. Give it a little bit of time. Give the seed a chance to kind of like be brought up randomly in their mind. Okay, and once you feel like that's happened, say a few, two, three, four days later, you can go, oh yeah, I need to call this person. So I grabbed her card, this happened just a few minutes ago. I called her, and I probably should have called her a few days earlier, but that's okay, I've been very busy. <laughs> I called her, I said, I'm gonna call this lady, I call, you can never call. I said, hey Michelle, how are you? I said, I'm doing well, how are you? I said, great, well what's great is I called, I there's two numbers on the, on the on the card, one was her direct office, one was a cell phone. Sometimes, it depends who it is, I go right for the cell phone, but this time I decided to go for the um, office line just because we're not that at that place yet where we can call her cell phone, I don't think. It's my first time calling her. So I called her direct office line, she answered, she's very kind. I said, hey, how you doing? You know, my name's Zach Calhoun. We spoke recently about, you know, one, two, three. Um, do you recall me coming in there? I came in there the other day. And she goes, Oh, oh yeah, sort of. And, she, and she's like, can you explain a little bit more? I said, yeah, you said you had another person who looks over this kind of stuff as well. 
and they were out that day. They had COVID, and uh, so, so so there was this storyline. I I told the story. Was, oh yes, oh yes. You know what? I have your flyer right here. Well, right now we're doing some changes with that role. That person's going to change, so we're going to. Um, so can you can you call that? Can you call me back next week, and we can talk talk more than I said. Sure, that's no problem. So now I have permission to follow up with her. I have a, a date Friday now. Is she putting me off? A little bit, yeah, of course. But right now, at this point, she's probably busy. She's a, she's a decision maker. She has another person she has to hire. What a pain in the bo- pain in the bottom, right? So like, it's not necessarily about you know me closing the deal right now. What 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 what's happening right now is I have met her in person. I have built some rapport. I called because I said I would call, and I have a date now of when I can follow up. Cool. Mark it in the calendar and move on to the next lead. When I, because I, I dropped off a flyer, she remembered faster. Because I, I recalled the story, she remembered faster. Because I was kind and to the point and pretty efficient, she didn't say that she was out and not interested, but she just said, call me later. That does not mean no. That means call me later. So that's what I'm going to do. She's a good lead. I'm going to keep put her, in, put her follow her away in the, into the good lead section. Okay? All right. Hope that was helpful today. Drop off something something that is a physical value, a flyer, etc. Reference it on your follow up call. Hey, I, I, I dropped off the flyer. Do you remember? Um, if they accept the flyer, if they accept something and they want it, what they're saying is you have permission to call me later and continue the conversation. But because we just met and I didn't know who you are, you walked in here cold. Can we talk later? It's like a human being reasonable thing to say or ask for do. So you can do that. And now I have permission to call her next week, same day. And I may even be able to book a demo. Well, hot dang. If I book a demo, I'm going to close it. Let's go. Talk soon.